Here is a liver. You could instantly recognize that. It has a very nice, smooth surface. You can see part of the glistening capsule here. You notice this is the cut surface. You'll notice that the cut surface is not entirely uniform. There are some areas which look a little more hyperemic because they're pinker, and there are some areas that look a little more yellowish. You can see veins, large veins, small veins, uh, perhaps portal areas that looks like a bile duct there. But in all honesty, we really can't say much more about this liver, can we? So let's go to our microscope. And microscopically, I think we are all so smart by now that we can recognize the fact that we have uh, central veins, like here, and here, and here, because they are vascular spaces which are not surrounded by any type of connective tissue. On the other hand, when you see vascular spaces like here, and here, that are surrounded by connective tissue, you know that these are probably portal veins in a hepatic artery and a bile duct. But when you see little veins all out there by themselves, and it even looks like some of the cords may be converging on them, like here and like here, you know those are central veins. And if you could see general spacings between central veins and portal areas, you know you're not dealing with cirrhosis. But it still doesn't look uh, quite right, does it? Here's a portal area. Here's a central vein. And notice that the uh, sinusoids and cords themselves seem to be surrounded by a pinkish material which is relatively amorphous uh, like here like here like here you can see the normal hepatic cords here and theoretically the spaces between them are the sinuses but the sinuses are filled with this pink eosinophilic, glassy, or perhaps uh, finely granular material. And by definition, that's hyaline. Hyaline could be a lot of things. It could be fibrin. It could be scar tissue. It could be foreign material. It could be protein. One thing that hyaline could be is also amyloid. So let's say that we decided to take this area and stain it for amyloid with the Congo red stain. Now remember, this redder uh, areas are cords of hepatocytes. It's this amorphous pink material that we want to stain. So let's do the Congo red stain on it. And uh, sure enough, the amorphous areas stain a little pinkish red. That's why it's called Congo red. Here it is redder than here. Here it is mildly pink. Here it is a little bit redder. But let's say we took this Congo red stain now, which is staining this red material between the hepatocytes, and we decided to put it under polarized light. bingo we have some spectacular polarization patterns we have brilliant yellow but even more importantly we have this granny apple green 
birefringence, not just yellow birefringence, but granny apple green or apple green birefringence. Apple green birefringence, which is positive when you polarize the Congo red stain, is diagnostic for amyloid. Now we know that this hyaline material was amyloid, and I thank you very much.